So once we have talked about how to implement a thread using thread class, it's time to move towards the interfaces because we have seen that, right? If we have a class, we have an, when we have another class which, which you high want to extend, now we cannot achieve multiple inheritance. So what we can do is instead of using extends thread, we can also implement an interface. And that interface is runnable, okay? So instead of using extends thread, we'll be using implements runnable. So we'll say implements runnable both the, for both the interfaces or for both the, both the threads. Now, if I go to the enable interface, you can see something amazing here. It's a functional interface. And as soon as something comes, uh, as soon as you hear functional interface, something comes to your mind with Lambda expression, right? So it is a functional interface and it has only one method, which is run. So your runnable interface has only one method, which is run. So if I go back to my thread demo, and so instead of using thread class, we are implementing runnable, right? But there's only one issue here. The issue is, if you talk about this obj1.start, see, we don't have start method inside our own class. We don't have start in, in runnable. I mean, we don't have start in runnable. From where you will get start? Because earlier, when we use threads, so thread was having start method, right? Runnable doesn't have a start method. Then what? It is giving you some, it is giving you an error, right? Because we don't have any method like that. Now, what we can do here? So, so what we can do is instead of so instead of calling start for using obj, we ju we just need to call start, right? So what we can do is we can create a uh, thread object here we can say thread t1 equal to new thread so we can say thread t1 equal to new thread and then we can create one more thread here which is which is for t2 so we got t1 and t2 thread and instead of calling obj1 dot start we can say t1 dot start and instead of calling obj2 dot start we can say t2 dot start the problem is solved right because we just wanted we just wanted the thread, we just wanted to start method, right? So we have created the thread. But will it work now? It's because we have created this thread objects and if you if you call start, it will call the run method of thread, right? It will not call the run method of our class because if you run this code, it's doing nothing. Because start will call run because it will call run the method of thread itself. It will not call the run method of our class. Now, what we can do is, what we want to do is, we want to link this object with thread. Now, luckily, if you, if, you, if you expand this, if you expand the constructor of thread, you can see it is asking you for the object of runnable. That means if you pass obj1, because that's an object of runnable, right? Because your class implements runnable. So when you pass the object of obj1 here, it's an object of runnable. So obj1 is runnable object, right? Even if it's high object, it's actually runnable object because instead of high here, you can also write runnable, right? Because you can create the reference of interface and you can see this runnable interface here. So you can create the reference of interface and you can create the object of a class. And here we can pass obj2. It, it will work if I, if I run this code. You can see we got hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, hello. So we got the same output, but using interface now. So we are not using thread, we are implementing interface. So point to remember, whenever you want to create a thread, there are two ways. One by extending an interface or by extending a class or by implementing the interface, which is unable. Now, when you use class, that's very simple, but when you use a uh, interface, we need to make sure that we also create two objects. I mean, we create an object of thread in which you will pass the object of runnable, which is here. And then you will say t1.start and t2.start. So that, yeah, that's it. That's how you use uh, the runnable interface. In the next video, we'll try to reduce the length of this code because this is very lengthy code, right? Uh, because in Java 8, we got some new features, right? We got the feature of Lambda expression. So can we implement Lambda expression here that we'll see in the next video.